Hey vinyl friends and vinyl community, it's Brian from Brian's Vinyl Records and I've just returned home from picking up something I'm super excited about. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time and got a taste of it with, of course, the record store day release of one of the albums I've always wanted, but the rest of them have finally come out on vinyl and I couldn't be more excited. I found out the news, I want to say in probably May, of this year and uh, I contacted my local record store, one of my favorites here, down in the valley in Golden Valley, Minnesota. I contacted them about it and asked if they'd be getting it and they said they would and that they could hold one for me if I wanted to. So after consulting my wife, because the price is steep, I decided to go ahead with this. So I'm super excited to totally do an unboxing for you of this beauty. This is Typo negatives, none more negative. Uh, got a lot of reflection coming off here, but from Run Out Groove Records, um, and it is the first six albums that they put out. The only album that isn't included in this that they put out is Dead Again, which was not on the Roadrunner uh, record label, I guess, and that is why it has not been released again. Those go for some big hefty dollars if you can find them on vinyl online and so I I don't know that I'll get that I'm hoping that one of these days they will go ahead and release that as well on vinyl again as a reissue but in the meantime I've got the first six albums this is typo negative a goth metal music band and the story that I have with typo negative is uh, in 1994 Motley Crue came to town with new lead singer John Karabi on uh, t supporting that 1994 Motley Crue self-titled album, which is by far my favorite Motley Crue album. I know a lot of Motley Crue fans will think that's blasphemous, but I absolutely loved that album. And the tour solidified that for me when I saw John Crabbe singing the old Crue songs and also singing the songs off that album. It solidified that as my favorite album. Um, so that's just me. Um, I d don't take anything away from Motley Crue with Vince Neil. love Motley Crue with Vince Neil as well, but that John Crabbe album is a completely different type of album and was so my type of music at that time in my life. Anyway, went and saw them on the tour for that and this band opened up. Had no idea who they were, uh, never heard of them before, but I was in the second row of fans sitting there and they came on stage and completely blew me away. And uh, the buddy I went with that day, both of us looked at each other like, what was that? We had no clue. Next day, he came over to my house and showed me that he had picked up the CD. I ran into my house, grabbed mine, because I had done the same thing that same day. So, typo negative, I've been a big fan of theirs ever since. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing of this. As you can see, it's still shrink wrapped and everything, and show you what comes inside here. So, take out my handy dandy uh, opener tool here for records, guitar pick. It's my favorite tool to use for this. And we're gonna rip this open and see what we got here. I'm so excited, guys. This has been something I've been looking forward to. I just never knew that I would ever get to own these albums on vinyl. All right, so the first album is called Slow, Deep, and Hard. So that's this one here. It's kind of a weird picture. Uh, back of the album here, gatefold. Now all of these albums are double vinyl, which is really nice, and they all come on this killer green splatter vinyl, which I think is pretty cool. So this is Slow, Deep, and Hard. This is the first album from Typo Negative. Um, it's a pretty good album. Uh, it, it's not, you know, a lot less commercial than what I think uh, everyone's used to who joined the, uh, following them with Bloody Kisses. So double records there. Um, pretty cool, looking forward to it. Uh, the song off here that everybody uh, heard when they played at concerts was the Unsuccessfully Coping with the Natural Beauty of Infidelity is the name of the song. Uh, yeah, so if you don't know it, you can look it up, but I warn you, it's pretty um, explicit and then the next album oh we got more stuff in here uh, looks like we have a little card here that says 
Typo negative tour is killing me. Brawl access, so like an all access pass. That's kind of cool they included that. We've got a little flat sheet in here giving you the songs and album information. Uh, what albums are on the songs. Or sorry, what songs are on the album. And it looks like we got a poster here. Now this, I, from what I know, is a recreation of a box set that they put out um, a few years back and it sold out and to buy it online now would cost you a hefty penny somewhere in the six seven hundred dollar range um, if you're lucky all right the next album uh, and we got to cover this one up because it's rather graphic this is called um, origin of the feces if you didn't know what that was that was a picture of peter Steele's rear end kind of disgusting so we'll show that part and we can show the insides here and of course, again, it comes on that splatter green uh, vinyl. Nice inner sleeves in here, which is always a nice touch when they put the good inner sleeves in here. So this one, um, this one is, 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 it's treated like it's a live album, but it wasn't actually a live album. It was a studio album that they recorded live to tape and then um, added crowd noise and things like that. So it's actually not a live album. Um, but it's, it's pretty good. It's a lot of the same songs that are on Slow, Deep, and Hard, uh, things like that. So that's pretty cool. The next one is one I already have, but I'm excited to have this version as well because this is the Record Store Day version. Uh, had uh, an extra uh, vinyl disc in there that had some extra songs on it. So this is the actual album as it was, which I'm super excited about. This is a great album. This is what they were touring on when uh, I saw them live pretty close to what I have um, already on vinyl so obviously really cool to have this again you got the, the kiss lips there so really cool all right now we get into the ones that everybody really wants in their collection this is the second album that came out from after I knew them this is the fourth album that they released and this is one of their better ones this is a great album this is October Rust such a great record uh, absolutely love this one it's got the song that they released as a single my girlfriend's girlfriend is on this one uh, let's see here uh, be my druidus is a fantastic song love you to death is a fantastic song in praise of Bacchus burnt flowers fallen uh, and they did a cover of Neil Young's Cinnamon Girl on here. I'm not a big Neil Young guy myself, but love their cover of his song here. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. This one is the one I'm looking forward to spinning most right now. Um, I just absolutely love this album. All right, next up, we have the album uh, World Coming Down. I remember when this came out, I got it right away. Uh, it took me a couple listens to really kind of figure it out. It's, uh, it's really good. Uh, I really like it to, the, to now. Uh, after a couple of listens, I really fell in love with it. Um, different a little bit from the October Rust, where they kind of went a little more commercial in the songs. Uh, but also, it's just a fantastic album. So there's the back. And, of course, our gatefold. Here. Really good album. Uh, excited to listen to this one as well. We've got some cool little record labels on here. So pumped about that. Really good. Let's see here. The songs on here that are really good. Uh, Everyone I Love is Dead is a fantastic song. World Coming Down, the title track is good. Everything Dies is fantastic. Pyretta Blaze is awesome. All Hollows Eve is fantastic. And on this one, they did a cover of The Beatles' Day Tripper. Um, one thing to note about their covers, when they do their covers, if you're not a typo fan or haven't listened to them, uh, they slow them down a lot. And so Day Tripper is a plodding song uh, with that riff, that dun, 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 uh, They slow it down a lot, and it's, it's really kind of cool. So Day Tripper on that one. And last but certainly not least, this is the final Roadrunner album, and it is absolutely a great one. This is called Life is Killing Me. So you got the heart monitor as the graphics there. 
Life is killing me. A little play on almost a kiss-like cover there. Um, this one, let's see, I Don't Want to Be, fantastic song. Uh, Life is Killing Me is a great song. Um, how could she, gosh, Angry Inch is funny. Uh, good stuff on here. Love this album too. Uh, super pumped about it. And on this one, we've got a cool, almost like a heartbeat in a circle there. Um, super pumped, super pumped about this, guys. Uh, yeah, so that's all the albums there. So six albums in total, nothing else in here. So six albums, you got a cool little backstage pass thing. You got a cool little poster and a nice record flat that came with it to tell you all the different songs on the albums and what's in there. Very nice package all around. Um, everything is double LP, so everything is um, spaced nicely so that sound quality should be really good. If it's anything like the record start with day release, it's going to sound absolutely fantastic. So I'm super, super excited about this. Um, I'm going to put some uh, music on right now, maybe do a couple of uh, record drops, needle drops here for you to hear some of that music. And then I'll be back with my um, initial impressions. Obviously, I'm not going to listen to everything in completeness, but I wanted to get this out there so you knew what we had. So I will be right back with more on typo negatives. This is none more negative. Cool little box set, all black. Nice box. Be right back. Okay guys, so I just sampled everything here and um, I, I love it. Uh, it sounds fantastic. It looks great. The packaging is awesome. Uh, I cannot wait to really listen to everything on full, uh, listen to the albums in full and just get, immerse myself in it. I'm super pumped about this. Uh, if you are a typo negative fan, I don't know man, I think it's worth the money to spend to get these albums, especially if you're a big fan like I was. 
Um, if you're not, you know, maybe they'll release again. Uh, Runout seems to release some of these uh, individually, so hopefully maybe we'll get things. If you like October Rust and really want that, maybe you can wait and see if Runout will put that out, but uh, no guarantees on that. So this box set was, like I said, available at one point a few years back. It sold out immediately and it hasn't made an appearance until now when they just released a limited, I think it was 3,000 copies total. So if you want it, go get it. Uh, local stores typically have it. Um, it's worth the money to me. So super pumped. I hope you like this kind of quick and dirty review of the box set. But uh, all I got to say is, you know, thumbs up on this guy. It uh, so far is exceeding my expectations. Sounds great. And I, I can't wait to listen to the whole thing. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, keep spinning, Vinyl Friends.